A dream cruise turns into a nightmare for thousands of passengers. For the second time in a month, a Carnival cruise ship has become stranded, this time in St. Martin. 4,300 people's vacations cut short. And for one mountain family, that meant an unwelcome phone call from the travel agent today. The Payne family from Hendersonville was packed and ready for their cruise on that very same ship. This incident, of course, put the brakes on their vacation before it got started. Yeah, News 13's Ashley Searle joins us with tonight's top story. Ashley, the problem on this ship was actually caught before they boarded. So does the family feel like they maybe dodged a bullet here? You know, interestingly, no. They're avid travelers and have taken carnival cruises for years without a problem, seeing this recent string of incidents as all unrelated. So really now, for this trip, it's just disappointment. Here it is. Here's all my clothes. I can lay up lay it right out there. Robert Payne was packed. Here's my shoes. All my shoes is ready to go. and Just put it in there and we're out of here. Or so he thought. It was down for probably about three hours. That's his ship, the one supposed to leave Saturday to take Payne and his wife on a cruise for his 78th birthday. We had all kind of plans and had everybody telling where we where he's going. They'd been planning the week-long carnival cruise for eight months and were set to leave for the launch port in Florida tomorrow when... My travel agent called me and says, I got some bad news. The trip canceled. Well, it was disappointing because, like I say, you, you always plan these things and we keep saying what we're going to do and we're going to go to snorkeling. The ship the Paines were set to take, called the Dream, but this time not quite, is right now stranded in St. Martin, with passengers being flown rather than floated home after a problem with a backup diesel generator reportedly had the power shorting out, with lights flickering, elevators turning on and off, and a toilet overflowing. I haven't ever had any problems with a, car a Carnival Cruise Line. But thousands of others have. The Dream is the latest Carnival Cruise casualty for the largest cruise line in the world. The most recent, the Triumph incident, last month that left thousands stuck at sea for days after a fire made it unable to reach port. Never had any trouble since the 70s. This is the first time we ever had any trouble. Payne says the line is discounting his next cruise, but for next week, landlocked. And according to his wife, cruising north. She says, might as well just keep this as a vacation and go up and uh, go up back up to Ohio and see my father. Right now, passengers on the ill-fated dream are making their way home via plane while Payne and his wife are left unpacking the car.